Okay, in this, uh, in this video, we're going to look at the equation x equals vit plus 1 half at squared. And when to pick that equation, first of all, what we have is an x for displacement, vi for initial velocity. a is in here for acceleration and time is in here two places once it's squared um, for just time. And we don't have a final velocity. Anything that, that requires a final velocity, whether it be a given or an unknown, uh, whether we're trying to find it, we aren't going to be able to use this equation. Okay, so looking at this, reading everything off, a velocity of 2.0 meter, 2 .2 meters per second, it goes through a constant acceleration, nothing but deceleration of 2.0 meters per second squared. What is the magnitude? This just means that don't worry about the direction of the displacement. So here's your question, and after 6.0 seconds. And so that leads us to this givens list, x being our unknown. Now, we have an x, we have a vi, we have an a, and we have a t. We want to look through here, and we want to find an equation that has those four things only. And you get to this one right here. So the reason why we can't pick this one is because it has a vf. That one either has a vf. That one either because it has a vf. So therefore, that leads you to the right equation, which has everything we need. And then we're ready to do the math. So x equals vi is 2 times t, which is 6, plus 1 half times a, which is 2 in this problem, and 6 again, only the 6 is squared, and you do the math, 2 times 6 plus 0.5, or 1 half times 2 times 6 squared, and you get 48 meters as your answer, and there you go. Okay, something else um, for this equation, if I had re wanted to rearrange this for vi, I'm going to have to subtract the 1 half a t squared from both sides. And that's going to leave you with x minus 1 half a t squared. And then the next thing I'd have to do to both sides is I'd have to, so I have that equals v i t. And now I want to go ahead and get rid of the t. And so I'd get rid of the t. And I'd be left with v i equals x minus 1 half a t squared over t, and that is how I would do the rearranging for vi. If I had to rearrange it for a, I would go ahead and subtract vi t from both sides, and I'd have x minus vi t equals 1 half a t squared. Next, I would want to multiply both sides by 2 and when I multiply it by 2. That's going to get rid of this. Next, I'd want to get rid of the t squared, so I'm going to divide both sides by t squared. So a equals 2 times x minus v i t over t squared. And that's how you rearrange it for a. Okay, now if I wanted to rearrange it for t, this gets a little more difficult. Sometimes you're lucky enough, and if this is v i is 0, this first part cancels out, and it's pretty easy to rearrange. But if vi is not equal to 0, you're actually going to have to do the Pythagorean theorem. So you'd have to plug in numbers and, and rearrange it from there. So, for example, if I use these numbers right here, 10 equals vi of 6 times t plus 1 half times a, which is 4, times t squared. I can take that, and I have 10 equals 6t plus 2t squared, and I can rearrange that equation. And when I rearrange the equation, I could go ahead and um, subtract 6t from both sides, subtract the 2t from both sides. Um, so I would end up getting minus 2t squared minus 6t plus 10 equals 0. And then I'd, I'd just like to go ahead and multiply everything by negative. We get t, 2t squared plus 6t minus 10 equals 0. And now I have my a for the quadratic formula. I have my b, which would be 6 here. The a would have been 2. The b would have been 6. And then the c would have been negative 10. And then I could do the quadratic formula, how you do the quadratic formula formula up here, and that would get me to my answer. So a little bit more difficult. Uh, it's a lot easier if for some reason vi happened to be, if vi happened to be zero, which is not the case here. If vi happened to be zero, not the case here, 
um, then x equals 0 times t plus 1 half a t squared. That first part cancels out, and then it's way easier to take this down to size. And so if this was the case, you multiply both sides by 2. And after you multiply, by, by, multiply both sides by 2, you divide both sides by a. And after you did that, you would go ahead and take the square root of both sides. And that would get rid of this. And so t equals square root of 2x over a. But once again, this will only work only when vi equals 0, which was not the case here. So you'd have to do the quadratic formula if you had these givens when you were done figuring out your problem.